As consumer preferences evolve, it can be hard for companies to market to their audiences in the right way. There's been a lot of attention on big data, which can help companies understand their customers better, but more so on a quantitative level. Qualitative indicators are just as important. Factors like brand image and customer loyalty, for example, are strategically important, but hard to quantify. Traditional methods like surveys and group studies often give skewed or inaccurate results due to human error. However, there may be a solution where neuroscience and marketing intersect. Neuromarketing is a brain-based approach to help marketers directly measure customers' underlying thoughts, feelings, and intentions. Neurologists have taken the latest understanding of basic human cognition and applied it to marketing. Let's take a closer look at the circuits that inform our perception, attention, and memory. The attention circuit selectively evaluates stimuli, focusing on some and ignoring others. By understanding this process, the best marketers build captivating brands that stand out. The emotional circuit enables an individual's subjective feelings. This is crucial to creating the positive emotional associations that many companies seek. The memory circuit supports the retention and recall of information. A consumer's memories of a company and its products will stick with them and become the basis of all subsequent interactions. A firm's ability to shape and sustain these memories will make them more competitive. Finally, the valuation circuit is at the core of one's cost-benefit analysis and decision-making. What is most interesting about this circuit is how it potentially interacts with others. For example, do the emotional evaluation circuits interact to influence consumer choice? Researchers can observe these circuits in action using fMRI and EEG scans to monitor brain activity. This method of collecting data helps circumvent the issue of interpreting the meaning and accuracy of responses in traditional interview methods. One qualitative result companies can measure is a consumer's level of engagement, i.e. the ability for an ad to capture attention. Neuromarketing studies are great because the researcher doesn't have to pause content for feedback or wonder whether the consumer is accurately articulating their opinions on the ad. Researchers found that engaging content triggers a similar response across most individuals, creating a signature that can denote a successful ad. Though neuromarketing research continues to expand, it is beginning to provide at least some insight about important questions, like how consumers feel and what they think when they are buying or interacting with products. To find out more about the potential applications of neuromarketing, please read the California Management Review's latest issue, Volume 59, Issue 4.